Hey guys, so it is Friday. I'm just trying to finish up some prep work. I just quickly wanted to share with you, I just, um, you'll have just seen I stamped out some price tags. So I just wanted to show you those and then just kind of briefly touch on what I was using. So I made these price tags for my t-shirts. Let's see if it will focus on me. There we go. So on one side, I stamped my little logo. And then on the other side, this is literally focusing on every face behind me. Taylor, her, like, let's get all the faces out. <laughs> why, why won't you focus? There we go. Okay, and then on this side, I have a QR code that will bring you to my Instagram and then a little stickered price tag. I did it on a sticker rather than writing it directly on just in case I want to change up the pricing or anything like that. Like I said, I am kind of doing a little test run with these shirts. So if I want to change it up or they don't sell, I want to use the price tag for something else. I can just take it off and stick a new one on with a new price for a new item. So that is what I have. But then also I just wanted to quickly mention that I did get a stamp of those, obviously I just showed you. So I have a QR code stamp and I have my little logo stamp. The logo stamp, I believe I got at simplystamps.com and then the QR code stamp, I'm pretty sure I made it on Zazzle. First I thought the QR code stamp would be better than stickers just because stickers you can run out of, whereas a stamp you can use it over and over and over and over and over again. And the original reason that I got it was for my prints so I wanted to have a way for people to find me again if they did purchase a print now given I do have business cards I did originally put some business cards in with my prints but as I was packaging them all up I was like realizing like I have a lot of prints that I'm packaging it's not just like an order on Etsy where it's just one going in and they only go in when I send out an order I have to have these all pre-packaged and business cards are not super expensive but they're not super cheap either so I wanted a way to have something in there so that people can find me again afterwards and then also they have the name of my business so what I did was I bought these business cards on Amazon uh oh now I can't open the box <laughs> so I got these blank business cards they actually are the exact same material as these tags they're just like cardstock like brown cardstock and then i have a thank you stamp that i got from michael's i believe so on one side i have it say thank you and then on the other side i just side by side my logo stamp and the qr code this way i can just put these into the prints and not my actual business cards. And then if somebody does make a purchase, I'll just slip a business card into the bag or out with the, the purchase. Um, but honestly, most people, when they are purchasing something, they already have a business card in their hand because they're interested. So that's what I did to kind of save a few bucks, but also still make sure that, hey, you can come back and find me this way. And I did it to my Instagram just because I thought you can find my website from my Instagram and you can also just kind of see like what's new, what's going on, I update that more than I would my website. And then from my website, you can find my shop. So it's kind of like a, a link to everything all in one. So just wanted to share that with you guys in case you are kind of doing the same thing. You need an idea. That was my approach to it. I think it works well. They, they still look cute and it saved a lot of money. These were a lot less expensive <laughs> than actually ordering business cards and now I still have because that's the thing too like I needed business cards to still put out on the table and you know when I packaged up so many prints that you know would have used up all my business cards I would have had none to actually put out for everybody so just wanted to share that with you really quick I'm going to clean up my desk right now uh, I think I'm gonna try I need to see if I have a sewing needle if I have a sewing needle I'm going to tag the shirts if I don't I need to take a trip and then come back and tag the shirts later tonight. So my husband is playing hockey tonight, so I should have a little quiet time to myself once uh, kiddos are asleep, and I will be able to work on that if I need to. But also, I think I mentioned this, but I I put the little mystery prints in this thing, but I, I'm not a fan. They look very, it reminds me of like a, a restaurant table, <laughs> like the sugar packets. 
Uh, so that's not the vibe I'm going for. So we're gonna look for something else for this to see what we can find. I'm gonna have to do a couple laps through the house because I've kind of had my eye open already and I didn't really see anything that I thought would be perfect. Maybe I'll see if my oldest daughter has anything up in her room that I can snatch for the day. But uh, yeah, this doesn't really work. I mean, they fit, but they're like crammed in. And like I said, it's just definitely giving me like table sugar vibes. So not not gonna not gonna work but we'll find something we'll make something work and we'll keep our eyes open for that so that's it for now i'm gonna get to work i gotta clean up this desk because oh my goodness it's such a mess and then hopefully everything will be done by tonight and i can just kind of put everything together in the corner over there i mean i have most of my stuff stacked up over there anyway there's another stack over here as i was showing you the other day but just kind of get an eye on everything and make sure i have everything that i need and maybe we can enjoy tomorrow before the mayhem on Sunday. That's it for now. Okay, so I took a little trip to the dollar store earlier. I happened to be passing it by and I found this little tray. Uh, it was in the plate section, but it's more like a tray than a plate, I think. I thought it might work well, just the shape, the size. Not that it's the cutest, but it, it's really not that bad and it, it's kind of cute. So I tried it out and I think this works a lot better <laughs> than the than this little basket, the berry basket. So I'm gonna go with this for Sunday and call this complete. I did upload all the additional items to my Square account. And now I just have this. I had my husband print this out for me earlier. I have the QR codes and I'm gonna put them on this little sign just kind of side by side on here just so it's very simple but cute i found this at hobby lobby it was like nine nine dollars it might have been on sale when i bought it so i'm gonna put those on here and then i just want to cut these out i think i'm gonna put them on like a i have card stock hold on yeah so i have this card stock paper I'm going to cut this out and then put it on here so it's just a little sturdier and a little more mm, jazzy looking, nicer looking than just a, a little cut out piece of paper. So I'm gonna glue these two onto this to display in front of, so it'll, it'll sit right in front of the thing so people know how much they are. And I think, I think that's it. I think that's all I really have to do tonight. I'll have to check my to-do list, but I think that's all I have to do. So, so I'm going to get started on cutting those out and getting them glued down and ready to go. I'm just going to put all the little things in this, this basket. I don't really have anything to like pack in this basket. I try to pack everything in the other things, but for right now, just all the little odds and ends, these things, I have some cash in here to make change. Uh, very important. I almost showed up to my last craft fair without that. I remembered the day before and it was a Saturday and the banks closed by the time I remembered and got there. So 
Luckily, we have a bank that stays open slightly later and I was able to get there. But anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on that for now. And then I have a nice quiet house and I might either read or watch some TV, eat a bowl of ice cream, maybe all of the above. We'll see how much I can fit into whatever time is left after I, after I clean up. So let's get to it. Okay, so I just finished making these little price cards to go out in front of my displays. I have these clay pins, so I'll just kind of like set them out like that. And then the mystery prints will go in that dish that I showed you earlier. I'm gonna have these two just kind of set out next to it to give people kind of an idea of what they're going to look like. And then I made this little sign. I'm not sure how I feel about it. You can kind of see like the glue spots but I think that's just the lighting in here and when I'm out in the field I don't think it will make too big a difference but it's what I've got for now. I do have my other sign too so if I decide that I'm like nah I'm not feeling this the day of I can always just break out my other sign and use that one too and try to figure something else out for this because I thought this board was really cute and now that I've glued it I definitely can't return it so <laughs> we have to make it work for something but yeah still deciding on this one let me know what you think and that is it so with that I think I am just going to put everything in the boxes I am pretty much all packed up and ready to go. Like I said, I didn't really unpack anything from the last craft fair that I did, so I still have all my prints and most of my merchandise in that little box. All my t-shirts and things are ready to go in the bag. We did that earlier today. I have this little bin here that I have a few extra things in, like my pins, and now these little signs. Um, I do have a notebook. I try to keep track of what I'm selling. I kind of did that just to see like what sells and what doesn't to kind of weed out what I should keep and what I may, you know, not stick with doing. But it was really hard because the last time I sold a few things that I didn't sell the first time. So I feel like I sold a little bit of everything, which I guess is a good thing, right? That's not, I'm definitely not complaining about that, but I, I was a little confused because I almost didn't put out my stamped journals because I sold none of them on the first one. And then I sold like a couple of them at the second one. So I was like, oh, well, I'm really glad I put these out because I sold a couple. So I, I, I just kind of want to see like what is and what isn't selling, what prints are selling, which ones are are not but it's been a little hard like I said it's like very random like it's like this and that and this and that so we'll see we'll see what happens maybe I can find a trend otherwise I'll just keep putting everything out I guess um, but I only actually have this uh, this coming weekend and I think in a couple of weeks I have another one coming up I say I think because I haven't officially gotten accepted other than took my payment for the booth so I'm a little confused <laughs> but I'm new and I'm learning right so I'll keep you guys posted on that if you see another prep video so I'm just gonna finish putting this stuff away getting it set and together 
but really that's not going to take me very long. I, I mostly all put together. I'm just going to make one single pile rather than three random piles of stuff. So that is it. I'm going to clean up and I will, I guess, see you guys on Sunday when we are headed to the craft fair. Hey guys, it is the next day. Yesterday was the craft fair. Um, it was actually pretty slow. I did sell a couple of my shirts though, so that was very exciting. And a few of those mystery prints that we made. So I was happy to see that people were actually interested in those because they were both kind of a little test run. But overall the traffic was probably the slowest of any of the fairs that I have been to, but it was still really nice. It was a beautiful day. It was nice to go out east. It was on a farm, so there were some animals and stuff, and they had some like singing bowls, and they did yoga. They had a paint circle, which is cool, which I wish I could have joined in on, but I was working my table, so I couldn't, but um, I still thought it was really cool that they did that. and. Uh, yeah, it was nice. It was a nice day and there was a lot of really cool vendors there actually too. It was nice. It was nice to be a part of it. I would say it went well and I now need to prepare for the next one, but I think I'm going to take a few days to not do any craft fair prep and just kind of figure out what I need to do because I don't I don't have too much. Like I said, it was pretty slow, so I still have a lot of my inventory to bring to the next one. It shouldn't be too hard to prepare for that. But actually, one thing I did do, if you noticed in my little clip of my setup, I had a few t-shirts on the table because I showed up with all my shirts, nice and excited, and then realized I forgot to bring hangers. So <laughs> I couldn't hang up any of my shirts and I don't have a lot of space. I had to make a little bit of space on the table for the three shirts that I had put out. So that was a fail on my part, but luckily my parents were coming to meet me there a little bit later in the day. So I reached out to my mom and asked her if she could scrounge up some hangers to bring to me and they did and it worked out perfectly because actually I had someone interested in the shirts as I was taking them out to hang them up. So it worked out perfect timing and um, you know, maybe it would have been better to have them out sooner probably most definitely but it still worked out and uh yeah i was i was pretty happy that people were interested in, in the shirts maybe in the future i will i will make some more i definitely don't have time to edit files and um send for the the transfers and stuff before this next craft fair but maybe if i'm doing another one in the future i'm not really sure yet but if i am maybe i'll I'll work on a few more shirts for it. So uh, I think I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys for spending the week with me, prepping with me. I think for now I am going to go actually start painting. Um, I think I mentioned earlier in the video that I want to I wanted to paint something for my sister-in-law. So I just got that transferred over to my watercolor paper. I sketched it out, transferred it over. So I'm ready to just sit down and paint and it is a rainy day outside today. So it is a nice day to sit down, relax and paint for a little bit. 
I may film it as they repeat for me, so if you want to see how that turns out, stay tuned for the next video, hit the subscribe. Thank you guys again for hanging with me, and I hope to see you next. Bye!